Hello Pisces, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick general reading for you. Something that you're not expecting, but it will benefit you to expect it. These are going to be general, um, so it's not going to resonate with every Pisces, but if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the description. Okay. So I'm going to put the intention out that we're looking at September, but this can resonate with whenever you're watching the video what's going on for Pisces. They're not expecting, but it would benefit them to expect it. Ooh, okay, there's Pisces energy. All right, we have the Hanged Man and we have the Empress. Okay, so there's some stagnancy, there's awakening. Someone's being held in place to realize something. Um, could be the Empress, could be about the Empress. Okay, so Divine Feminine Energy could be um, could be awakening or could be helping this awakening. Okay, show me more for Pisces. Show me more for Pisces. There's also some abundance that's being manifested. Knight of Swords. This is a popular card today. Knight of Swords. Okay, so doing something very quickly with a lot of confidence. Okay, so this could be about communication. Um, the um, Divine Feminine could be communicating or could be being communicated to. Um, I forgot what I was saying before. Oh, something, something could be being manifested. Some sort of abundance. Because someone like leveled up with awakening. Some, some abundance wasn't coming through and then it all comes through. Okay, show me more for Pisces. Show me more for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, someone's realizing their own worth. Someone's also realizing their ability to manifest and have what they need effortlessly. Um, someone's leveled up. That's definitely a theme here. Someone's leveled up. There's some catalyst situation. Show me more. Show me more for Pisces. It could be a realization or an aha moment that ends up kind of catapulting someone in a certain direction. A realization. Did I already say that? King of Swords. Okay. So there's a masculine energy who's communicating. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you don't have to be. It's just the spirit of masculine energy communicating something. Um, especially with the Knight of Swords. Very quickly, confidently. Um, very to the point is to is also the energy with the swords. Okay. Someone could be realizing your worth if you're a divine feminine, or you're realizing divine feminine's worth. Okay, show me more for Pisces. Six of Swords, also a card that's been pretty popular. So yeah, moving out of something that's toxic. It could even be a mindset. Someone could be moving. There could be an energy where someone communicates because someone's moving. Someone notices you're moving. You could be energetically moving away from a masculine energy. And that's causing the um, need for communication or want someone wanting to communicate. Um, yeah, there's something that was realized. Show me more for Pisces. So someone's moving out of something toxic. Someone could be talking about this too. Death card, yeah, a serious transformation. Someone's transformed and leveled up. You know, someone, you know, had an ego death. Someone killed a bad habit or a bad mindset that someone had or something that was creating um, 
stagnancy or lack of understanding, but it's kind of like this is all purposeful for the purpose of understanding something. And it feels like about divine feminine energy. It really, it could be divine feminine realizing something, but it's feeling like someone's realizing something about divine feminine energy, communicating about that. And then there's some movement away from toxicity. Um, it's either being spoken about or it's being done. It also could be divine feminine is moving away from something energetically or physically, and it's causing the need for this communication and speed. Um, so why are we talking about this for Pisces? What's going on for Pisces with this? Like what's happening with this for Pisces? Why are we talking about it? What are they needing to be made aware of? What is Pisces needing to be made aware of? Seven of sword, seven of wands. Um, so pushing, pushing through something, fighting for something, fighting something off. Someone's put a lot of energy into. It's not defending themselves. It's kind of like um, not accepting what they don't deserve or staying away from toxic, low vibrational energy, or like fighting that off. This also could be something about transmuting, too. This is some, someone's transmuting, like, really low vibrational energy that they have in their environment. It feels like a masculine energy. Because divine feminine energy has all this abundant energy. Um, yeah, because it's divine feminine. I mean, it's the Empress and the King of Swords. So it's kind of like the masculine energy kind of has, like, some stuff that they're fighting off, and they could. This could be being communicated. Yeah, there's work and effort that's being put towards this. Um, it feels energetically. All right. So why else are we talking about this for Pisces? What's happening with this for Pisces? What do they need to be aware of with this? The High Priestess. Something's being felt spiritually. Okay, yeah, so it's like a, there's a spiritual connection, obviously. Um, someone's feeling someone energetically. Yeah, so someone could be, like, there could be a masculine energy who's feeling divine feminine moving away again. And it's causing, it's like, it's um, igniting something. It's, it's giving realizations, but it could be doing something with, like, the third eye, crown chakra type energy, someone's awareness is being like opened up. Someone could be fighting for you. If you're a feminine energy who's like cut off a masculine energy and moved away from a masculine energy, um, they could be fighting for you. Someone, regardless of whoever is moving away from something, that's being felt spiritually by the other person. So someone who's moving away from toxicity um, could be cutting something out really quickly. That's being felt by the other person, the other counterpart. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so what else about this then? Any other messages with this? I'm not sure. What is the point in this? Queen of Wands. So what I'm feeling with the Queen of Wands is like a message for feminine energies to stay in their like power, their confident energy. Um, Divine Feminine is very attractive with this energy. Divine Feminine could be a, some sort of catalyst for this situation. There could be a lot of like work that's been done by Divine Feminine here. Okay. Show me more. Show me more. Yeah, there's a lot of effort that's been put in. 
efforts being reciprocated. Um, so whoever was putting in all the energy, it's being reciprocated. There's balance. Okay. All right, any other messages for Pisces here? Any other messages for Pisces? Is there anything else for Pisces that we're talking about today? All of my readings have been so similar lately. The lovers, yeah, divine counterparts coming together. Um, so energetically and spiritually, a decision's been made for um, divine feminine, divine masculine to come together. Um, yeah, this is a spiritual connection. Okay, there's going to be there's balance that's happening here. And it's something with Divine Feminine that's causing a realization um, because of the three, the catalyst situation and the realization here, causing someone to go through some ego death, someone's wanting to communicate something, someone could be struggling to communicate clearly, but it's like someone's wanting to communicate, and it, again, it could be something where Divine Feminine's pulled away energy or something, or is moving, or someone is moving away from toxicity because of some realization about Divine Feminine. It's something like that, but it's like there's counterparts coming together. The decision's been made spiritually is what I'm feeling here. This combo here. Okay. Alrighty, so thank you Pisces. Um, if this resonated with you, I hope that it provided you with guidance and clarity. Um, I know that it, it feels so vague. It feels like I'm. my readings are, have been really similar lately. Um, so there's definitely, you know, divine counterparts that are coming together and everything. So thank you so much for joining me. If it did resonate, again, I hope it did help. And lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.